I felt guided to share this this day because I really feel that it can help. It can help in this trying time where there's crazy chaos in the mind and the body. I was raised by a woman who didn't believe in the medical community. She actually healed herself. Anytime there was issues, she spent a lot of her time alone and uh, suffered with anxiety. And I believe that that anxiety helped her, co helped her cope with whatever physical malady that she brought into her reality. And I see it now as a blessing. And she was agoraphobic and, and spent a lot of time at home. So she was really, really a good caretaker for us, me and my brother at the time. Um, we were raised with a mother who cooked and did everything that a mommy does. And to the best of her ability, she took care of us. So there was a lot of deficits, but for the most part, that's what I experienced. And now, a bunch of years later, um, after an awakening in 1994, prior to that a bit, but when I really woke up to the reality that I was it, that I was the creator of my existence, um, and that I allowed whatever to experience through me happen, um, certainly there's a master creator of all, and I'm just a vessel, but from the perspective of the human state of being, um, so I woke up this morning with, um, in a dream, really, I was in a dream where I had a horrible, horrible headache and I woke up and I still had the headache. So in the dream state, I had it and in the waking dream state, I had it and it was so brutal that I didn't even know how to handle it. So I went and I, I got an ice pack from the freezer and I, put it on my head and my neck and whatever. And then I went into the usual experience that I choose to have where I say to the creator of all, give me your health, give me your love, give me your peace, and so on and so on. And literally within a half an hour, the experience of pain left me. Now this happened a lot in my life but more so now because I'm completely aware that it is me that decides what to allow to experience in me and through me and at me. And so why I brought this up today is because I saw for the first time, again, which I've shared in the last video, the merging with the higher self when I allow that part of me to intervene, I'm not reaching outside of myself. I'm allowing it to come in me and through me and at me. And it's a whole different world. So I realized that my mom was, everybody thought she was a healer. Everybody came to her for counseling for whatever and I assumed the lineage obviously and I'm really grateful in this moment for that because she would go into her room with the Bible and she'd come out okay for me I just go into the state of remembrance that there's a power beyond me that is guiding me ruling me healing me giving me everything that I require to stay in the body. Have no false idols because they will fall and you will live the consequences of that. And basically that's what I wanted to share today. In today's time in the collective with everyone falling prey to a mindset called disease, not at all looking beyond the media and the medical community for answers. I mean, I even shared today on, on Facebook, it's amazing to me that no one, I hear no one in the collective talking about alternative remedies. Not that I would do that, but that's a, that's a stepping stone to the higher understanding. 
Anyway, have a beautiful day. I love you. Bye.